What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and it's a super happy day in JP because we have the Near Automatic Lab, which is freaking amazing. This is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. And one of the big reasons why I joined the JP account because JP is seven months ahead of Global, so we were going to get this early on. And I wanted to experience it before we got it on Global and just really do what I'm doing right now and just make a video about it and talk about it and show you guys what all entails in it and really some of the changes that have happened in this update. Like the first change that I noticed was the banners. The banners look absolutely different. I mean, here's the base event banner. You got the A rank and then you got the S rank banner, right? And then you click go and then it would take you to, you know, what we're used to seeing, which is pretty damn cool. Now, Nier Automata has three S rank characters and 9S, 2B, and A2. And currently right now on the first day, uh, you just get to play with A2. Uh, you can get the character completely for free, which I will show you guys in a second. It's pretty awesome. 2B, you absolutely have to pull for. And you do get 9S, I believe, through the event. Although I haven't seen anything about it yet, but I'm pretty sure that is what's going to happen. So right here is the Nier Automata collab. And a lot of this stuff is pretty typical of what we've always seen in these updates. I mean, you got the shop right here which, you know, gives you some Catherines, give you some patent memories. These are optimal for these physical damage dealing characters, which are A2 and 2B and 9S, right? This is 100% physical damage dealing team. So it makes sense to be using patents and Catherines, right? And then we got some uh, Fredericks. And we, we have all kinds of little memories in here that we can use and level up. I mean, we got, you know, the Hannah, Cotties, uh, Da Vinci sets, Einsteinus. Lots of goodness. I mean, the ice, no, I mean, we can use that for other characters. It's not going to really be too useful for our physical damage dealing team, the Bathlon for Dark, right? And all kinds of other little memories and things that you can queue up and buy. And then, of course, all of our materials, which is it's pretty lit, right? It's pretty freaking awesome. These resources right here, these things here, you'll actually be able to farm in the Shattered Tales. So you click on this. And again, this is just like what we always have, or even currently right now with the event that we have going on in Global. I mean, you just click on this and then you're just going to farm these resources. You play this multiple times, get as many of those resources you can. So you can get as many materials as you need. And then here in Tales 2, this is the same thing as what we have in the other events where, you know, you do this eight times, you're guaranteed a six star memory. So pretty, pretty simple, pretty cool. And then every time you level up one of these, you're going to get more black cards, which is nice. And this is going to last for 34 days. Really, really cool. This here is still locked, and so is this. So I can't go into that right now. This is the story, which is pretty nice. Or actually, a little clip. And then if you hit go, this is this is an actual storyline for Near Automata, which is pretty damn cool. So on the bottom left-hand corner, where my face is actually in front of, you click on that thing, and it shows these resources right here. These are going to be vital. I'm going to be translating every one of these damn things. I'm pretty sure if you just do everything every single day, like, uh, you get so far in the story, like this is, you know, this 27 means 27% of the story and, you know, 60% you'll get, you know, once you finish that, then you'll get these, uh, rewards right here. You're eventually going to get black cards, which is pretty cool. I've already collected this one here, but that's what all this is. I mean, you're just doing all these storylines here to get all of these tokens, right? And then eventually you're actually going to be able to get this, which I'll, I might make another video about. I really don't know a whole lot about it currently because in global we don't have anything like that but uh very very interesting but those tokens are going to be massive because that's how you're going to be able to get a2 with these tokens you're going to be able to farm 50 of them shards in here for this character so you can get her she's going to be an automatic s rank character that's why it's 50 shards which is pretty damn dope and you got to love the bgm right pretty cool that we got a nice little bgm sound there and then of course you can also farm for some materials with these tokens so even after you get the shards after you get a2 then you can actually still use these resources for these materials which is pretty damn lit that's pretty cool and you guys can see i'm 27 percent into the story if we click on this little icon right here this is about the bot i'm not really too sure about it so i don't really want to dive into that and then if you click on this here you see all three of the characters now so far i've only been able to play with a2 and in the story it's, it's actually pretty lit they start giving you memories to use in the story mode your weapons and your memories as you play along through this and kind of a backup here back out of this here click on this as you play through this you're going to start getting memories let me show you what i'm talking about so right here you see a memory memory you see the six star weapon 
you only get these through the story mode. You're only going to be able to use these materials and these weapons and these memories in the story mode. So, you know, I don't want people to get confused about that. You don't get them, right? You don't get to use them in your regular gameplay, but you do get to use them in the story mode. And I believe you get like three of these materials every day. I believe you can do the story mode three times a day, if I'm not mistaken. And that's what you want to do. You just want to keep going through the story mode. Now, don't criticize my gameplay too much because I, I haven't played this very much at all. I haven't played with A2 very much. I don't even know what orbs I should be using or in what order I should be using or anything like that. But we're going to go ahead and turn on that bot there. There we go. And let's see if we can have a little fun. Oh, man, they hit me, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. All right, now we get to use her signature. Man, she is vicious. Look at that shield she's got right there. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't think so. And it's pretty cool how they have this set up, you know? I mean, it's, uh, I like that you go back and forth between these game modes and you're actually getting those memories. So that way you can actually increase your damage output in this side of the game, in the story mode, which is pretty no wild. Pretty cool. There we go. We want them blue orbs out there. At least I think so. I'm not really sure, to be honest. There we go. Like I said, I haven't had much practice with A2, but I am loving her. I am having fun playing her. I'll be pretty happy when I can actually get the character. Oh, we even got a new record. That was cool. <laughs> we actually made her score. Not bad, not bad. But, I mean, that's what it is. You know, you're just... You're just going back and forth. You know, you come in here, you try to go as far as you can, and then you're going to be coming back in here, and you're just going to keep trying to progress through this. Every day, you're going to get a little further in here. You're going to gain extra weapons. You're going to gain extra memories. Your character's going to get stronger, and then you'll come back in story mode, and you'll try to progress even further. So it's a pretty straightforward update, man. I'm loving the hell out of it. Loving Nier Automata. Really, really happy with this. So I'm really looking forward to see what's going to be happening in the next few days as far as the collaboration is concerned how you actually do acquire 9s but you guys can see how you acquire a2 so it's a nice little heads up for all you global players because this will come in about seven months so let me know what you all think about near automata and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gmt plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see ya